E-government, or electronic government, is the use of ICT in public administration to improve public services. Many governments around the world have gradually turned to information technology to keep up with today's demands, and the Nigerian government is not left out. It's a five-year master plan. According to this master plan, promoting digital-led growth in Nigeria will require six priority initiatives. The establishment of a presidential committee on ICT and e-government, developing a capacity-building program, creating an e-government promotion fund, enacting laws necessary for e-government, establishing a standard software framework for e-government, and implementing e-procurement. The Minister of Communication says the only way Nigeria can benefit from this master plan is if the relevant agencies ensure its implementation. Both the office of the uh, head of service and that of the SGF must take active part in enforcing the utilization of e-government all across the board. So uh, we are proposing that uh, beyond those two offices, that uh, the government should also establish a presidential committee on e-government. Well. The secretary to the government of the federation, represented here by his permanent secretary cabinet affairs office, says the implementation of the master plan is important to the Buhari administration, as it will restore Nigeria's economic growth. It is our hope that this comprehensive strategy document will refocus the e-government agenda and ensure the holistic and citizen-centered deployment of ICT in governance with a view to improving public service as well as strengthening support to government policies. There have been several attempts in the past at implementing an e-governance policy in Nigeria with very levels of success. However, this time, the Office to the Secretary to the Government of the Federation says the implementation plan is more holistic and citizen-based and will ensure better service delivery in Nigeria's public service. Kayla Magua, Channels Television News.